Hi, this is Donna, and I'm going to talk to you about how to place an order on the Apex Embroidery Fonts and Designs website. On the home page, you will notice a few images here with some of the categories, but here on the left hand side is a catalog menu, and this will list all the categories of the fonts and designs and how many designs are within those categories that you have to choose from. There's also a search feature, so if you knew you were looking for a design with, say, a dog, you could search for that and it would bring up all the designs that are listed that have a dog in them in the descriptions. One thing you will need to know is what format your machine takes for the downloads. If you don't know what format extension your machine takes, consult your user manual or Apex has put a chart at the bottom of the home page. You can look up your brand of your machine and it will tell you the format extensions there that your machine accepts. So we're going to go up here and we're going to choose one of the font categories, curls fonts. We're going to scroll down looking at the different fonts. When we get to the bottom of the page, we're going to see some page numbers here. And that lets us know that there's more designs within that category to choose from. So we're going to click next and we're going to go down. And I'm looking at this and I'm looking at Katy Perry embroidery font. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to give me the description and the sizes that it comes with. So one and a half, two inch, and three inch here, and the price. And there's a picture here, so I'm going to click on that. And that is going to give me what the lowercase, uppercase letters, and even the numbers of this set, what it comes with. It's important to look at the descriptions and look at the other images because some of the sets will come with just lowercase. They may or may not have numbers. And you want to make sure that it fits the needs of your project. This is where you'll select the format extension. So I'm using this with a singer. I'm going to choose this triple X and hit add to cart. Now when I do that, a shopping cart summary appears over here on the left. It'll tell me what all I have in my cart, the prices. I can view my cart at this point. I could add some more things from the curls font category. I could choose another category or search for something, but I'm going to view my cart. And at this point, I could make any changes to my cart, remove any items, um, go back and continue shopping. If I had a coupon code, I could enter it now. It also gives me the option of ordering a CD with my design. So I'd still get the download, but for $5, I can order a CD with the designs as well. So I'm going to check out. Now the first time I'm going to need to click on this create a new account and it's because it's going to me to sign in. So I'm going to do a username and my email address and password and create a new account. So I'm going to sign in real quick and I'm going to go to checkout and that's going to show me what I'm ordering. I'm going to verify my email address here because it's going to send me a confirmation of my order as well as that download. Um, code, so I want to make sure I have the correct email address there. Again, I can enter a coupon code if I have it, and I'm going to review my order. So this lets me know that I'm about to be able to submit my order and submit payment. So I'm going to do submit my order, and it's going to go to a payment screen with the invoice from Apex Embroidery. Uh, again, I can review my order. It's going to allow me to sign into PayPal if I like, or I can click with pay with a debit or credit card. And I can fill out that information there and be able to pay with that. If at any time I notice a problem with my order or I want to add something or delete something, I can click this cancel and return to Apex Embroidery. And it will bring me back to my shopping cart. Thanks for watching and happy ordering.